the truth of the matter is, is that spiritual fervor has a tendency to um, become very powerful and then, unfortunately, often it wanes. And many of the great spiritual movements we've experienced in, in the history of the church have resulted in uh, large gatherings of people, we we'll call them denominations or whatever, who are functioning. But the question would be, is it is the anointing and the power that caused it to come into existence, is it still there? Well, I'm not going to question the hearts of people because I don't know the hearts of people. But what I do know, that in every great spiritual move of God, people are swept into the kingdom of God. Lives are changed. People are saved. And uh, it causes a uh, movement for a generation. And then in the second generation, history tells us that the same power is often not there. And so you say, well, Pastor King, what are we talking about here? Well, I'm talking about a move of God. And I'm talking about it being so powerful that people are, are swept up in it because they're drawn by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving and uh, people's hearts are becoming enlightened. True spiritual conversion is taking place. And that desire to want to learn more about God and, and grow in, in our spirit and grow in grace and to share that with other people just becomes something that just becomes spontaneous because of what's happened in the hearts of people. As a result of that, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle Paul is explaining to that church there in Corinth that there are uh, giftings that are given to us by God to equip us to be effective in ministry and taking the gospel to the world. But he also is challenging them to not to be focused on just the, quote, demonstration of the gift in the church so that we can say, oh, look how spiritual we are. But the manifestation of that out into the highways and the byways and the hedges and lives being changed and the church being furthered in its mission because of a genuine move of God. You see, this is where we often find ourselves losing our way. We lose our focus because we're not seeing a world one to Christ. We're seeing a church that has become stagnant. And I'm speaking mostly of the church in America. Because if we were not stagnant, then there would be a move of the Spirit of God where people are swept into the kingdom of God. But we're not seeing that today. And why is that? Is because we've lost our focus. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.